federal government plans to sell petrol at 97 naira per litre. With just 97 naira, Nigerians can get a litre of petrol in the coming days. The federal government says a plan is in motion to provide alternative petrol compressed natural gas, CNG, that would cost between 97, 95 naira to 97 naira per litre. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Simpriye Silva, disclosed this while addressing journalists in Abuja on Thursday, January 16, 2020. He noted that CNG has undergone a pilot project in Beninsisi with over 10,000 vehicles already running on it. With CNG, Siva said that the cost of fuel will reduce to about 97 naira per litre. What we have decided is that we should try and give the masses an alternative that will be to move the masses to CNG. CNG costs less than the subsidized PMS per litre. The subsidized rate at the PMS is 145 naira per litre. CNG will cost about 95 naira to 97 naira per litre, the minister announced. While stating that Nigerians would never experience fuel scarcity again, Siva expressed optimism that the petroleum industry B, PIB will be passed before May 29, 2020. Hmm. Good news. If it will happen that way, not uh, raising people's hopes, not just reading speech, not just to say it so that people will feel good. Everybody wants action. Let's see how it's going to, how it's going to come to play. Because a lot of promises have been made. A lot of them have not been fulfilled. And that is why the masses don't even trust government. Not even only this government alone. You know, all other governments that have come, all other people who have been in charge before this present government, you know, they have said a lot of things. And at the end of the day, they never come to pass. And people continue to endure, to suffer, complaining and talking here and there. The same administration that said, anybody telling you paying for subsidy, you know, is a scam. That paying for subsidy is a scam. And they really emphasized it. And they... They, they were in the instrumental that made to remove to be able to remove that subsidy when Jonathan was there. You know, a lot of people didn't really understand and they really sold a lot of lies to people. The same present administration went all around discouraging people, telling people what manner of lies that subsidy is a scam, that they shouldn't allow them to remove subsidy. Or to should continue to pay a uh, pay for subsidy, but when they came on board, they begin to pay in double dose. All of the things that they criticize the other government, they are doing worse and they are using advantage because they know what they themselves did, not only in this area of a petroleum, in other areas, and that is why when you talk about it in our electoral processes, in our judiciary, in everything, it's like they are not using that opportunity because the former administration they didn't even I didn't even get you know to this extent that things are really you know most especially mostly uh, you know involved in impunity of course you know it's like when the case is just like uh, when somebody is planning uh, evil against you you will just be there you don't know you think the person is just you know trying to be friendly and all of that but because you have an open mind before you know, the person who is always planning evil will be calculating you even ahead what you even think. I will, I think the past administration, you know, they just like okay, or maybe they were feeling too big because the Fed has power, they cannot just it that they are, that they were going to be re-elected back into the system. But unfortunately, maybe that was why they took a lot of things for granted. You know, that confidence was there that nothing. They, they were the incumbent government. Nothing can really remove them. That all of these ones that are coming, that it is going to be business as usual. And these guys somehow, somehow, really, you know, it swept, they swept them off their feet. Of course, we know a lot of shenanigans that really happened during the election and a lot of things saying, oh, uh, some people were compelled to just to concede uh, defeat. But that being said, what we are trying to say is that 
this administration will know what they did all manner of propaganda oh we are going to do this we are going to do that a lot of people issuing statements oh that uh, if this uh, administration comes in a uh, dollar will be this petroleum will be this petroleum even as at that time petroleum was uh, was sold for 97 era or so it is 7 to 97 era there about oh they were saying it, it is possible for us to get it at 45 naira at the end of the day they said no they didn't say that a lot of people were just making statements the same statements some people were making oh even if the president does not even have a school certificate even if it is a nepa b it is good everybody was just like oh we just needed that change we needed that change we didn't know that uh, you know we were living in paradise of course that time it was not really the best but compared to what we are experiencing now, you know, we're living in paradise. So now they are coming again to tell us what the same uh, promise they gave to civil servants that they're going to increase their their minimum wage to thirty thousand naira. They've been on it over and over again, over and over again, over and over again. Up to now, we don't even know where they have settled or how they have been able to settle that. It's be it's been back and forth. A lot of uh, some states will say, "Oh, we are going to pay it." Oh, we have started it. Some said, "Maybe they have started it and all of that." So, those are the things. Until it happens, before Nigerians will take them serious. This one, uh, the minister uh, uh, issuing a statement. We don't know if at the end of the day, the minister of petroleum, because I think he uh, is the minister of state for petroleum. The the real minister, who is the president, does not even talk to anybody. Don't be surprised. He will speak through his spokesperson, and they will tell you oh, he didn't say the, he didn't say that that was not what they meant because it has happened over and over again. So until we see the whole thing, we experience it. Just like people always say that sin is believing. So that is just my own take. And let's see whether people really believe this. Uh, this. Uh, the, I can let me say story. It's a story because until it happens, before we know that that okay, these people are really serious. The same way they said they are going to lift 100 million people out of uh, poverty this 2020. We are still waiting, we are still looking. Hmm. Someone said this is audio. Audio promise. You know, when something is audio, you can't see it, you just be hearing it. Okay, you're just hearing it. And that is what this particular person, you know, meant by that. To talk is cheap, to put in action is another thing. We pray and believe that every good dream conceived by this government will come to pass. And someone said, may their dreams turn to reality. May the Lord keep us alive to be one of the beneficiary. Throughout the 16 years of PDP in office, every December is first scarcity, first scarcity season. But since the beginning of this uh, government, there is no first scarcity during December period. I salute the peri uh, president of the, for this, even if he didn't do better. Okay. It is a news for the fools. These governments can only cannibalize and exacerbate uh, things. Why not fulfill previous promises first before raising other others afresh, only again to dash same and leave the masses worse off? This is nothing but good if actually it's true. This will further lessen the severity of hardship on the populace who can't make both ends meet kudos to the government if they do what they plan i am not a politician but i go by objectivity <laughs> you don't need to be a politician because it is not a liberal politician i'm just trying to react to this uh, person's uh, statement because the politicians are not feeling the heat they are not uh, feeling the hardship it is the masses it is all about the masses whether you're a politician or whether you're not a politician it's inconsequential because the the, this country is favoring politicians at all levels, at different levels, irrespective of the level they are maintaining. This uh, country is favoring them. So it is not by being a politician. We are talking about the masses. How is going to affect the masses? The masses' hopes have been raised over the time. And at the end of the day, nothing happens. So I don't understand what the position of the other person. We are talking of the masses enjoying the dividends of democracy someone say may god make it come true oh i pray so in jesus name i pray and i hope that it will come to reality who is begging who let them pocket it may the good intention come to pass apc all people cheaters if it is possible at all can worry and his northerners 
members called Esme, Kaba, and Laya EGF allow it to come to reality. Mm, we pray for you to get it done. What is holding it? If it is the allowance, it won't take time at all. What are you telling us? These people don't want our progress. How can they be stealing petrol or selling petrol at this uh, as a at this forty five naira? Isn't that too much? I better be better if they can, if they can, because some people are jealous about progress. Yeah, let's see what would happen. Hmm. Wow. So guys, uh, that is the latest uh, from a uh, from federal government that petroleum they are planning to sell petrol at ninety seven naira. According to what we have heard, if you believe that, if you know it is doable, if you are hoping, if you are praying, uh, if you are wishing, or if you are you know, hoping that it will come to pass, let's know all of those things in the comment section. Thank you.